What's up, YouTube, and welcome to a first look at Battle Juice Alchemist. This is a ARPG that I played the demo for a while ago and just fell in love with it. It's unique. It's not like your regular traditional hack and slash, like you are out there mixing stuff and throwing these potions that explode and do various other things at enemies and then there's even like a base builder aspect that the developer put into this it's really quite fun um i was re oh, i'm sorry i backed out just so that i get you some information um the game was a it Re yeah. <laughs> it released March 21st, so just recently. It's in early access for $19.99 US. Um, thank you to the developer for giving me a key to show off your game. Really appreciate it. I was really excited about this. This is a solo dev that created this game. And like I said, there's a lot of cool little things going on here. I Now, I have read in the reviews that maybe the... Some people felt like there's not a lot of content currently, but there's there. I've been told there's, you know, over 10 hours of content at least from what I've seen so eh, I don't know we'll take a look at it we're gonna take a look at about the first 30 to 40 minutes um maybe we'll do more of this later on but definitely we're gonna do the first look see if you like it like I said the link is down below if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe and let's get into this all right, select our class. So we have the Bold Alchemist. You start with plus health gear equipped. Flasks are dropped where you stand, explode instantly, and have a bigger explosion radius. The Bold Alchemist perks enhance the use, the special ability uh, upsurge, which is an explosive jump. Um, the Swift Alchemist is you start with damage gear equipped. Flasks are thrown where you aim. The Swift Alchemist perks enhance the ability dash. Um, and then the Sly Alchemist starts with a li plus liquid gear equipped. Flasks are slung into the air to hit a designated target on the ground after a short delay. The Sly Alchemist perks enhance the ability teleport. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Swift one. Uh, Swift Alchemists casually, uh, usually keep a distance to their enemies and do their best when aiming their flask from afar. Level 4, they gain access to dash, which allows them to quickly dash forward. I didn't realize it gave a little... Oh, they even have a little look here. Um, do the mitts, best in the midst of their opponents. Their flasks damage those around them without the need of aiming. So you're literally like dropping your potion on the ground where you're at. <laughs> um... Sly Alchemists place their flask on the ground where they deal damage over time before exploding. At low. Okay, so that's kind of like... Yeah, I think we're going to go Swift. Um, first name... Whip. Okay, Parker... Parker Tran. We are going to be... Oh, we can change all that. Okay. I do like... That's awesome. Love it. Um, always dudes. So we're gonna change that up here. Skin. We'll go with that. Hair. <laughs> and we'll go there. It's a much more drastic than I think that this actually makes it look, though. That's a lot brighter than I feel, but it could just be me. Uh, we're going to go purple gear. So, oh, that's for the monocle. Um, kind of like this triangle thing. Uh, we're going to mess with the world seed a little bit. We'll start in the tutorial and we'll go next. We're going to do campaign. Ooh, there is a survivor mode too. That I did not know was even an option. So that's kind of cool. Um, currently, there are three acts. It looks like we have. I don't know. I imagine there's probably more planned. But let's dive in. Oh my god, that got really loud. A dark ritual is cast. Oh my god, how do I... Meanwhile, why in Caribou Creek? That is insane. 
Okay. What is the point of having sound options if they don't count for cutscenes? <laughs> it's not just this game. Like, I've run into that into so many fucking games. What is the point of having sound options if it does not count for your cutscenes? That is nuts how loud that was. <laughs> I, I don't even know, like, do I... I tried to turn it down. I tried to cope with it. And get us through it. Because clearly having the scene, like... Like... See how low I have that? It shouldn't... It shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and I said all that before I hit record. So... <laughs> I'm going to keep playing... Cause I don't, I don't want to get, I don't want to have to restart just because of that. Because I'm gonna have to do what I did anyways, where I'm manually turning down OBS to just deal with it. But that right there, that's got to get fixed. That no, I, I don't understand. If you're gonna have sound options and allow me to do that, then you need to. They fucking need to be for the entire game, not just have cutscenes go god awful loud and blow your ears out. <sighs> now my only hope is that I. <laughs> I'm going to be really pissed if I record 40 minutes here and I find out that it was way too fucking loud and what I did didn't do enough. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Getting started. You arrived at the mountain pass. Make your way to its end, uh, to its end in the east. Move around by left-clicking on the left. Yeah. Whoop. Uh, or left thumbstick. If on PC, you can also use WASD. Okay, so there is controllers to it. Um, so shift, like, stops us, which is... I'm just not used to at all okay you may toggle on weather labels okay understood oh toggle toggle on item labels so we can either have that there or okay learn how to use that scroll inventory read destroy the barricades understood so here is our tool belt and this is where i had a lot of fun with this because like you do kind of mix these and you create these different concoctions that you throw all right so we're gonna equip you nope i don't want to throw it i want to equip it use okay there we go uh, replenish your liquid. Understood. Two. Doop. So there, I think there's going to be some quality of life stuff that we see in this, right? Like, I'm going to want something I just see immediately. Like, gold should just be an auto pickup. And there is an option to have auto pickup on, but that is like, that includes items and everything too. And I would rather it be, um, gold should just by default be an auto pickup. Okay, what are we learning here? Uh, I improvised the shrine to guide your way to the creatures ahead that are possessed some kind of spirit invasion. I left a half the health flask for you. Inspect the chapel behind the morass. Okay, so we got health on three, four, and five. So let's let's go. Shit! Shit! Ah! Oh shit. Fuck! Go away! It's a little... Where'd he go?
All right, the wolf like threw me for a second there. Direct hit. No. Gotcha. Ah. So it's a different kind of uh, action RPG, right? Like, you don't got this hack and slash going on. Like, you have to refill your your liquid, and it's a resource to be able to create more potions to throw to cause the damage that you need to cause. <laughs> Dude, it's just taking a nap. I'm like, fuck you. Gotcha. Okay. We picked up something there. Okay. What all do we have here? A smoke flask. Oh, so I can only... It's in one of these two. So if I... If I put it here... Where did it, oh, no. It's random. Okay, so three. Not enough liquid. So... I take the liquid. Still can't use it. Okay. Maybe I require more liquid. There we go. I require more. Oh, it makes us invisible. Just for a brief second, though. All right. Who are we fighting over here? I hope you found the smoke flask in the chapel. Use it at the right time to avoid the pumpkin demon's attacks. Cross the red pentagram to enter the abandoned farm. The what and the what and the what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can I kill him? I don't know if I can. He's got a lot of health. He's immune to it. That's what I see. Okay, wonderful. All right. Um, I need more liquid to use that other smoke. Okay. Cauldron. Strapped to your back and may grant various bonuses. Use. What does it do? Okay, go cool. quests. I don't want hints. Oh, we've leveled up. We got points to use. Okay. So agility affects how fast you draw flasks from random slots. Your maximum walk speed, the maximum weight you can carry. Um, juiciness affects how fast you regenerate juice when you're at full 100, per, 100 juice you can use it to juicify a flask by pressing spacebar while using the flask liquidity affects your maximum liquid and how fast you regenerate uh, so I'm going to put one and two into there I think I'm going to put another into health agility would be my next one just because walk speed but the idea of having faster Faster flasks is a big deal. Oh, it's it's explosive. Didn't explode though. Whew. That's good. Pentagrams protect the farm, but you need to destroy the explosive barrels to leave. Your normal explosive flask may not do the trick. Try to juicify them. 
scroll of Jusify. We'll have to see what this exactly means. One and so do I press them at the same time? I don't understand. Ah. Do a space bar first. <laughs> Shit, everything's on fire. <laughs> okay. You can juicify any of your flasks for powerful effects. Juicifying your smoke flask opens a rift, pulling in enemies. Use it to fight through the turtles in the lake ahead. Interesting. So then the way we do that is hold space, hit three. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Juice not full. Gotcha. Go. Swim, motherfucker. Swim. Swim. Oh, fuck. I went into the wrong spot. Fuck. This, this was a mistake. Mistakes were made. I'm sorry. Fuck. Go die already. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay. Oh, that dude was alive? Use the frog hop flash to jump over the wall. That seals off the door. Okay. Um. Gotcha. We have more still? There, there are still more here. I kind of want to kill them all. I have full health. Why why the fuck not, right? <laughs> Go away. Go away. Oh my god, they they're they're aggressive. This is some aggressive fucking turtles. Stop it. Okay. This thing wants me to go do something here. All right, so we got the frog hop. Put that on. It allows us to jump. Yippee. Okay, we're gonna put some into agility. And I think I'm gonna go back into liquidity. And we're gonna have to frog hop. So that's three. Woo! Okay. You could juice fight frog hop flash to deal damage and push enemies away. But be careful, some creatures are immune to physical damage. And what if I don't want the oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh, fuck oh, fuck oh, fuck, oh, fuck okay, oh they're immune. I don't have any more frog hop! It's just this. Because it random. It randomizes what's here. Okay. Nope. Nope. I hit the wrong fucking button. Okay. 
three. Come on. Bam! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, can we, can we please? Juice it. I need to juice it. Juice not full. Juice sure looks full to me. That's the juice right over here. Okay, okay. Bam! <laughs> okay. You guys need to go away. I'm... I'm quite done with you. Quite done with you. Whew. Fuck, they're still chasing me. Go fuck away! No! I found multiple flasks by now. Experiment by equipping different compositions to suit your way of fighting, but that's not working! See, this Fuck all! They're immune to my... Were they immune to a juiced one? No. No, they weren't. That's all I had to do, huh? Okay. Okay. We're all right here. He should now be well equipped to defeat the pumpkin demon. Destroy the rocks ahead using the barrels. Pumpkin's ranged attack is killer. So rush in close, close combat. Yeah, okay. Explosive flask. Put you up there. So random flasks. Yeah, just chooses any. I got that. I figured that out. Uh, we'll throw in another health flask because why not? Understood. And we gotta make sure we got the juice. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, go away. <laughs> no. Nope, that was supposed to, you were supposed to jump. That's what you were supposed to do. Kill it. Oh, he's immune to that, huh? All right. I see ya. And I got ya. He really didn't even get a attack off on me. Health plus five, health plus one, health plus three. Let's, I feel like there's too many health up there, so we're gonna go that. Ooh. That burned stuff, okay. I know the lesson's complete. Can I pick up that? How do I pick that up? E. Okay. Whew. I was afraid I was going to lose all that. Where do I need to go? Go to the right. It's, it's got some things that need to change. I almost find it easier instead of using the buttons to just use clicking down here. I'm not sure. I'd have to try this with my controller to see if that feels more natural. But like clicking these and then just using the space bar when I need to juice them seems to go a lot better. You made it through the mountain pass. Well done, Juice. I can't wait to meet you in the Caribou Valley. Zen. Yeah, you know, every time I hear that howl, it makes me think it's my own dog. <laughs> Caribou Valley. Bad to the bone. Ooh, level up. Let's deal with that. We got three points. Liquidity. 
go with that. Okay. What do we have over here? Oh, whoa. I did not realize I could change it like that. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to go here. <laughs> Okay. Um, we leveled up again. <laughs> Seriously. Sometimes it like bounces really unfortunately. Picking up items. Yeah, we got that. I know how to pick shit up. Um, let's grab that ash here real quick. Let's see what we got here. So we got a new mask, which gives flask cooldown minus one second, health plus 24, health duration, health duration, five second, liquid plus 26, juice rega regain is 1.8%. Bonus if all equipped items, magic, maximum liquid doubled. Oh, so if all of our items are magical which is what this purple is. You get two times the amount of any dust found. Interesting. All right, so we'll equip that. We got a lot of extra stuff here. Are we wearing it now? We are wearing it. That's cool. I always appreciate when a game does that. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going around to kill shit now. Get some. <laughs> oh, he's burning in there. Nope, nope, nope. Got him. I'm, I'm enjoying it. it. Like I said, it's got a little, a couple rough edges, but honestly, overall, it's a lot of fun. It's different. And I think that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't think this would survive well if this was, you know, the mob fest that is Diablo. I think this works how it is, and it's f oh shit, <laughs> it's fun. As long as the loot, that's the big thing with these games to me. Like you can be slow based as long as I feel like there's enough time in between everything, and the loot is worth it. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Then I will be happy. I meant to juicify that. How are you all still alive? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> How? How? No 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 no. See no. No. Thank you. I mean, dude. <laughs> that fucking guy. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? He went somewhere. Shit. Ow. One shoot. Did you see these things are immune to it? So I need. There we go. Come on. Ow. I've yet to really decide, like, does my explosion hurt me? And I, I, I like it. Let's, let's see. Okay, so that doesn't. Does a juiced explosion hurt me? 
No. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. I've been kind of being cognizant of where I am in relation to throwing my my stuff, but since I don't really have to worry about it, then fuck it. I love it. How did all that happen? Was it just everything I burned? Boom! Yeah, I'm having fun with this. I'm not sure what juicing the juice does. <laughs> oh, it redraws random flasks. Okay. How many of you are there? Close combat. What is this? You engage in close combat. This drags you into a crossroads. If necessary, you may flee using the portal behind. Or portal button. What is this? It's like almost turn big. That's kind of cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's so that is different. Like I said, this game does some different things. And I can appreciate any game willing to try and switch up a genre like not necessarily switch up a genre but just try new shit right not be afraid to give it a go and see like does this work that ah, shit ah, I keep hitting Q on accident there we go where the fuck am I supposed to be going <laughs> All right, we need to be going to the south. There's, there's like a building down there. All right, we have that ready for us. Oh, that is a ton of guys. Let's burn them. Oh, damn, that was a fucking hit. All right, so E is the way to pick shit up because, man, you just tap it a couple times and you get everything. There's something over here. I don't know what this is. There's a chest. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to open up the uh the old menu here and figure out what I just picked up, because that was a lot of stuff. What do we have here? What is this? dark altar you activated this area's altar demons no longer increase enemies damage your damage is at plus 25 percent and you can see active buffs and debuffs on the top right of the screen Ooh. okay hold on a blueprint to make a mask so we're going to study that reading a blueprint adds it to the list of craftable items in your alchemy workbench which you can find in the caribou creek and other towns Ooh. 
We'll put that on. Um, so what are we currently with? Is there a way to look at like what I compare? That would be really nice. 15.02, that's 17, so we'll equip you. Arm barrel. A barrel strapped to your arm may grant various bony. Liquid plus 30, liquids 0.3, juice regain 1%. Why not? Let's throw it on there. Oh, it, it replaces. It's magical. We're getting close to magical. I need my flasks to be magical, and I think we get that full magic bonus. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm liking this game a lot. Let's go over here to that house. Figure out how I'm gonna get into it. Definitely not that way. Um, can we jump into there? We can't. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Caribou Creek. This is Zen. Whew. You see the shaman you know from your uncle's Alan's story. She is much younger than you expected her to be. Zen wears a wolf skin and the skull of a giant bird guards her shoulder. A lasso dangles from her side, a ritual dagger and a flask from her belt. Where once her left hand must have been, there's now only a stump. Welcome to Caribou Creek. Thank you for responding to my call. It may not be much, but we did our best to rebuild our town after your uncle's laboratory exploded. exploded. I'm truly sorry. Alan was family to me as well. Caribou Creek is in dire need of an alchemist now that evil spirits roam our realm. Greetings. Um, spirits? Something has weakened the, carrier between, the barrier between our realm and the crossroads, which is the spiritual reflection of our world. Now, the barrier is weak. Evil spirits pour into the crossroads and from there possesses humans and animals alike. Luckily, spirits are bound to their host's bodies and cannot cross the pentagram protecting our town. If I could move this, I would fucking love it. <laughs> Before you can venture back out into the wilderness, I must be sure that you can defend yourself. Maybe I can teach you some tricks your Uncle Alan invented as an alchemist. When he was still alive, we used to have sparring sessions. Oh, wait. You had one more option that showed up. Let us have a little sparring fight. Yep, okay. Uh, evade one of my melee attacks with a frog hop flask and a ranged attack with a smoke flask. All right, so... Where, where are we doing this, Zen? Kind of scared. My chest. Ooh. Read? There's an owl. That's... We're going to bring these over. So I think that's a blueprint. We'll study that. It's a blueprint. We'll study that. Let's take that wood over. What do we have up here? Hi, Danielle. You see the guard with the stern but welcome look on her face. Her skin is weathered by years spent under the sun, and the dreadlocks peeking out under her helmet are contrasted by white strands. She wears a plate armor that must have been assembled over the years of duty. Wow, a new face in Caribou Creek? That's something. I'm Danielle. Glad to meet you. You are one kind of... Uh, you are some kind of relative of Alan's, right? Here to make amends? I'm just messing with you. Thanks for fighting with your way here through these those possessed. I'm sure it wasn't easy. You know, it's nothing against this game. I've come to find out with my dyslexia <laughs> as I've gotten older. It's been... I always figured everybody else kind of trips up as they read. And I found out there's an actual, like, font for dyslexic people. That they have found that, like, really just... It... it works with the dyslexic brain brain and uh holy shit it really does like i have found if games that have offered that i can read without slipping up at all and for whatever reason with regular fonts like this it just screws with me so any games that do like accessibility please consider dyslexic fonts because fuck it helps us so much more than you would imagine um yeah alan messed up and blew up this town but you can't blame him in my eyes. It was an accident, and if I hadn't been, if it hadn't been for him, people here would have been killed by some, by some Northlings with giant axes years ago. He did all this science stuff to protect the people close to him, and did a great job until the explosion. That is. 
protection. Alan has had a close friend. His name was Plato, a strange creature that Alan brought back from one of his expeditions to the frozen tundra of the north. At least this is what he told people. To me, Plato looked as if Alan had Frankensteined him together. Plato disappeared after Alan's death. You should find him. We can use every helping hand or flipper for that matter. Finding Plato. You should find Plato. I think we can get him to come out by making this a more cozy place for him. Take this freeze flask blueprint, craft it, and then find the source of the Caribou River that runs through our town and throw a juicified freeze flask there. This should cool the river for a while, which might lure Plato back here. You know, seems like you know how to get him here and you just didn't want to do it. <laughs> Hey, we gotta go do that sparring session though, right? Oh, we did level up, right? Oh no, what's this? Oh, we did level up as well, but what is this? Upsurge, dash, oh, we get dash now. Let's do that. Um... Shop, ooh, what do you have? Blueprint frog hop. I don't know that I know how to actually make it. So we're gonna do that. Um, can I sell that? Yes. I'm gonna sell that too. And I'm gonna sell that one. And you. We're just gonna chill with everything else and let's fight. Um, so I'm supposed to do what? <laughs> Evade one of the melee attacks with a frog hop. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And a ranged one. Oh, shoot. Ah. Okay, so we evaded there. Let's see if we can get a smoke flask going on here. Damn it. Did I do it? Success. Okay. Whew. Take this liquid flask. It provides a special alchemical effect and may be of better use to you than me. This was a nice sparring fight. Now I have great faith that you'll be able to continue your uncle's work and hunt down evil spirits. Maybe one of those inside occultists carries a clue to why they pour it into the crossroads. Alan. Your uncle was one of the greatest minds I've ever known. Long time ago, when the turn of times occurred, Alan's reimagination of forgotten technology was the reason why Caribou Creek flourished. After the current explosion, I found some blueprints and some of Alan's notes on ritual magic and the ruins of his lab in the old tower. You can find them in his chest, which belongs to you now. Okay. Ooh, is this better than what I currently have? Restore some liquid. Is that not... That's liquid plus one. What is the difference here? Oh, liquid flask up yonder. So all thrown flasks do between 25 damage to very close and... Or minus 25 damage to very close and plus 25 to very far. I like that since we are... I'm not going to worry about using that. Since we are really trying to do ranged, that will help a ton. Where do I craft? The fireplace? Burn material. What about wood? Not wood. <laughs> Used for crafting legendary items. Well, where does one craft? I don't think we craft here. So, I think we craft outside. So, this is the altar. 
what time are we at? Oh, we're sitting at about 45 minutes. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up there. Maybe have more videos coming of this. Maybe once I start my, uh, my month long, like the four, I, I, what I'm looking to do. And I think what's coming out is everybody's kind of voted and it seems kind of dead in the middle of either a new game every Wednesday, but technically with my first looks, I'm doing new games constantly, right? And sometimes there's games that I would love to be able to just dive into more and maybe show off a little more. So what I was thinking that's going to happen is we're going to be doing um, maybe starting in May. It could be June-ish. I'm not sure yet. Um, just trying to figure out my time. That's really the only thing that's <laughs> affecting it. But my thought is, is that I'll pick a game for the month one out of my backlog or one that I have recently covered in a first look that maybe we wanted to look at a little more and essentially do every Wednesday almost like a series, just a month long series of like, here's a 45 minute to an hour of the game. And um, each Wednesday in that month will be a continuation on that. And then the next month we'll be looking at a new game. Um, of course, if a game turns out to be not too fun, I might have more than one game in a month, but we'll see how it goes. Um, look for news on when that's coming. But if you guys enjoyed Battle Juice Alchemist, check it out. Uh, let me see if the demo is still up because there was a demo when I tried this. It, there is a demo there still. So honestly, if you're on the fence, check out the demo. Um, it's different than most action RPGs, but honestly, it's really cool. Uh, I, I've, I've had fun with it. It's a little weird and... A little weird to get your head around at first just because it, it it's not like your typical action rpg but i really quite enjoy what's here and i'm excited to see what the developer does with this so if you enjoyed it link is in the description you can go check it out you can go play the demo yourself buy the game if you really want to give it a go and um until next time take care